Yo, what's up YouTube? Nassif here from Click. Today we're going to be checking out the Jabra Soulmate portable Bluetooth speaker. Right, so let me show you where to pick this thing up from. Head over to Amazon.ca. I'll have that link in the description. All right, so on Amazon, you can pick it up for $149.99. It's going to run you $150. Bucks. Right now, it's on sale for 25% off. You have $50 off. Um, you can also pick it up in a black color, um, but that's $160, bucks and you got to pay $20 shipping. Um, so for me, I went with the white one, that because I like the white colors. Um, so let's head over, look at some of the specs here. You got three front facing speakers, you got two acoustics, and one powerful sub. Um, this speaker is pretty durable, so you can take it through, you know, sand, sun, moisture. I uh, believe it's water resistant, sand resistant, shock proof. Uh, you can also connect it wirelessly or by Bluetooth, so they provide you with a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And so you can link that up, or you can just connect it by Bluetooth and walk around with it wirelessly. Uh, it says here you can take calls and play music for eight hours, and then you got 40 days of standby time, which is pretty impressive. And in the box, you get a durable sound bag. USB cable and a three and a half millimeter audio cable. Um, by durable sound bag, they mean it, it's it's a sound like it's a bag, and uh, when you're playing music through it, you don't uh, muffle the sound, so it's going to sound the same when it's sitting inside the carrying bag and when it's not. All right, so let's put this thing away. Get to unboxing this. So let's just pull the top off here. All right, so here's the speaker. Um, it's pretty nice, you know. It, what is you know white color? So let's put this thing aside for now open inside, see what else we get in here. So here's the sound bag. Um, so this says on, on their website, it says that it is dust proof, sun proof, water resistant. Um, so, and this also has a pool cover like texture to it. So is that, put that aside, also get a micro USB charging cable. Um, you get your papers and whatnot. So nothing interesting in there. Let's put all this stuff aside. All right, so let's take a look at the speaker now. All right, first things first, I have used this thing for quite a while, so I'm gonna say that I did lose the audio cable here, but the way this cable works is that it goes in here and it threads itself all the way through the sole of the, the speaker and goes all the way around. So you always have your 3.5 millimeter cable on you in case you don't have Bluetooth on your phone. All right, so let's get the thing. First things first, you know, the build, all right? There's no denying that it looks like a shoe. So I'm not too hot about that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the build quality seems to be made out of like a matte plastic. Um, it's definitely not metal. I, I'm pretty sure that's plastic. You got, you know, rubber buttons up here. Uh, I believe this is a metal speaker grill and then the sole of the shoe is all rubber. So this thing doesn't move at all. When it's on the table, like it's almost knocking the camera over here. It, it takes quite a lot of force to move it over, right? So, you know, overall, Feels pretty solidly built, um, you know. And at this, you know, for for this solid build, it doesn't weigh too much. I think it comes in at just under one and a half pounds, so it's not a heavy speaker. Um, but you know, with the build, they do say it is shock proof, dust resistant, water resistant, and sun proof, sun resistant. I guess inside the, in the sound bag. Um, most likely, though, if you drop this thing in a pool or if you submerge it completely, it's probably not going to survive. Um, because it's not waterproof, it's just water resistant. So um, if you're out and it ends up raining or if you get a little bit of water splash on this thing, it should be fine. And it's dust resistant, sand resistant. You take this thing out to the beach or you can take it outside and it should be fine if you just leave it on the ground, uh, especially in the sound bag. All right, so let's get this thing paired up. So the way you do that, you just got to turn it on first, obviously. All right, you get a boot sound letting you know that the speaker's been turned on, and then to stick it into pairing mode, you gotta hold the power slider all the way up for a couple seconds. All right, now we're in pairing mode. Go ahead and connect. It's got its own little thing. Tell you go to Bluetooth. So we we'll pull out the HTC here. All right, let's refresh our devices. Let's connect this thing. See how long it takes to connect. All right, so you just gotta click it. Go ahead and connect me. It's gonna do its thing. Setting on your phone. 
soulmate right, is connected. And that's pretty much it. So it's a pretty simple process of connecting this thing. Also, to just to note that the NFC, this speaker is supposed to have NFC pairing. But the thing is, is when I'm leaving my phone on there to pair it up, nothing happens. It just sits there, and the speaker doesn't tell me anything. The phone doesn't tell me anything. So I'm not sure if that's hardware with the phone, software with the phone, or hardware with this thing. I'm pretty sure it's the phone, but what can you do? All right, so let's pull up some song from non-copyright sounds and we're gonna see how this thing sounds alright let's get full volume here Both things. now prepare yourself because this thing gets loud as hell I'm going to get there and hope we will meet there. sounds like you know it gets extremely loud the bass is awesome it's super clear and at high volumes it's not distorting at all so you know for the price 150 bucks this thing's definitely awesome and also another thing to note is that the range on the website says i believe it was 10 meters this thing's definitely got better range than that because i can leave this thing at the post at the soccer field i'll go play a soccer game i'll go kick the ball around and i'll be running around the field with my phone in my pocket or my ipod in my pocket and this will stay connected. You can hear the sound from the other end of the field. And another thing to note also, let's just put this thing aside, is that the build here, I'm not too hot on the build, um, especially with this material that shows up top here for the white color. It's matte plastic. It looks great when it's new, but after being used for a short while, you know, you get this discoloration all the way across the top here. And it's like this brown, ugly color up here as well. So it runs all the way around, but that's probably my fault, you know, I'm fairly rough with this thing. I would say, you know, if I'm at the field, I'll kind of just toss it in the dirt and lick it up, whatever, go play my soccer, leave it there. You know, when I'm washing the car, it'll just be sitting on the ground or sitting on, you know, the ground somewhere in the dirt. So that's probably that. If you're not a fan of this happening, which I don't think anyone is, then you better maybe better off picking up the black color or going with a different color. But overall, you know, I gotta say, 150 bucks, 200 dollars when it's not on sale. This thing sounds great. Now you can also go pick up the Jabra Soulmate Max, but I believe that's like 200 something bucks, and you're gonna pay like what, an extra hundred dollars, somewhat like that, for slightly better build, maybe a bigger speaker. I don't think that's worth it. I feel like this one is the best bang for your buck. So that's it for the review of this thing. If you guys had any questions, comments, uh, I can answer those. Just leave them in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Peace.